confession this morning. The Gospel of Jesus according to John. Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me just as the father knows me and I know the father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Thank you all. With all of us up here, first of all, we've got our sheep. Step forward, flock of sheep including our honorary staff member, Wooly, who makes appearances throughout the year <laughs> to connect with his fans. He's showing his tech spirit by uh, dressing according to our cowboy theme today. Um, so we have our flock of sheep. The Good Shepherd story shows us that the sheep need guidance and protection. Left on their own, they will wander or get hurt. In this story, we are the sheep. You can step back. And then we have our hired hand. The hired hand gets a, a candy cane shepherd's crook because the hired hand isn't really sure about being a shepherd. The hired hand is not going to stick around when times get tough or protect the sheep from any dangerous situations. <laughs> Thanks, Caleb. Uh, in our own lives, the hired hand might look like relationships or beliefs that do not stand the test of time. When the going gets tough, they run away from us and leave us fending for ourselves. You can step back, thank you. Then we've got the wolf. This sharp-toothed predator scares away the hired hand and tries to eat the sheep. The hired hand is no match for the wolf. The wolf needs someone fearless and strong to stand up and protect the flock of sheep. The wolf represents forces that try to harm us in our lives, and anything that pulls us away from God. You can have a step back. Then, of course, we've got our star character, the Good Shepherd. When the wolf appears and tries to snatch up the sheep, unlike the hired hand, the Good Shepherd sticks around and protects the sheep. The Good Shepherd will never leave the sheep alone. The Good Shepherd knows what it means to lead and what it means to love. Our good shepherd is Jesus. You can step back. And the good shepherd knows how to be a good shepherd because of the father. The father in this story is our loving God. We've got our, our heart-shaped glasses for the father to show that God sees us and loves us as we are. So Jesus explains that it is a loving creator who shows Jesus as the good shepherd how to keep the sheep of God's fold safe when the hired hands and the wolves let us down. The Good Shepherd will always stay with the sheep to keep them safe because they are God's beloved flock. You can have a step back. Thank you all for demonstrating. You can take your props off, and I've got... I know we did giant chocolate coins last year, but... I like to be on theme. So this year, we have sheep's wool in the form of cotton candy. So, there you go. 
And you can set those things next to the altar. Yeah, there you go. Thank you all. Let's give our cast of characters a round of applause. <laughs> oh, thanks, Nancy. I have watched the tech community remember who they are as God's flock together this weekend. I've watched them support one another as they tell their faith stories. I've watched them laugh and sing worship songs while wearing tiny cowboy hats. I've watched them explore deep questions of faith together as they wrestle with their doubts. The tech community understands what it means to be part of God's flock. So following their example, let's hold on to that knowledge that Jesus brings everyone into the fold. Everyone, one flock, one shepherd, the good shepherd says. All are welcome in the presence of God. Amen. <laughs>